81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88. Huh. Hi. My name is Michael Stidwell, and I'm here at Stidwell Pianos in Mesa, Arizona, and I'm sitting in front of a 1986 Baldwin L. Now, we love getting Baldwins in because of this perfect mix between, you know, super high-end handmade pianos and kind of some more entry-level Asian pianos. Um, and what we mean by that is that this piano is not going to be priced as high as, say, a Steinway or Mason Hamlin, but... Quality-wise, some people would argue that it's right up there with those brands. Um, these are handmade American pianos. This particular one is six foot three. It's a Baldwin L, so it's six foot three from the very front of the piano to the very back of the piano. And because it's a wet, uh, uh, handmade piano, it does have a wet sand casted plate. So if you don't know what that means, click the link above and learn a little bit about what that means and what that does to the tone. One unique thing about Baldwin's um, that I learned the hard way because I was rebuilding one and didn't know this, but um, the plates float. So these plates are threaded. So when you bolt in a plate in a normal piano, you bolt it into the rim of the piano and it just hugs right down to the wood. On this particular piano and on all Baldwin pianos, the plate floats. So there's a thread in the plate as well as a female in the rim. So the piano plate is literally just sitting on the threads of those bolts, which makes the plate really live and loud. Um, which is why we see Baldwin's a lot of times in churches and uh, music venues because they carry their punchy, loud pianos. Kind of compare them to like muscle cars. I know if you watched our videos, you know I do that a lot. But the reason I say that is because when you play these pianos, you have a ton of power right up front. You feel it right in your fingers. Um, you can play soft and sweet a little bit, but the main thing with this piano is it's a loud, punchy, powerful piano. So I'm going to play this piano for you guys. If you have any questions about it, always feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. See, when I play down here in this bass section, I'm getting this growl. And that's what I'm talking about when I talk about muscle cars. It's just like right down here. And so that's what people want when they want to ball them. They want that punch, that growl, especially down here in the bass and up high in the treble. still play very nice and soft and sweet. And you also keep in mind, because this is a handmade piano, say you get this piano delivered to your house and you live in Massachusetts, extremely far away from where we are, a good piano technician can voice pianos forward or backwards, meaning that they can make them brighter or warmer based on what you want especially with handmade pianos. When you get to Asian pianos and some of the cheaper pianos, it's a lot harder to manipulate that sound. Um, one, because the hammers are cheaper, and two, because they usually have a V-Pro plate or a vacuum-packed plate. Um, but I'll play a little bit more for you guys so you can hear what this one sounds like. It has a huge sound. So that echoey sound, that's that plate. I'm way up here in the treble. That plate is making that sound. It's kind of providing a little bit of reverb. And that's very typical of Baldwin. So guys, if you have any questions about this particular piano or any other piano on our website, uh, please feel free to shoot me an email at michael at stillwellpianos.com. Thanks for watching, guys.